welcome back to Flagowski Pins and Collectibles and today I want to share with you a D23 package and a walk around Epcot I think. All right as always I'm going to put my eyes on so I can see what I'm doing because otherwise I can't see you and I can't see what I'm showing you. <laughs> All right so here we go. So I'm going to start with my D23 package. Now this came in um, probably about two or three weeks ago. I ordered this quite a while ago um, but I thought it was really cool and I thought I would share it with you. So I'm going to open up the box so you can see what's in here. Sorry for the noise um, but I got this. D23 80 years of Captain America. Let me open this box up. So what is D23? For those of you watching who don't know what D23 is, D23 is the Disney fan club and it's uh, the official Disney fan club. You have access to, uh, I think they're quarterly um, magazines that have a bunch of really interesting articles in them. You have access to special merchandise that is really just for D23 members. You can get discounts on tickets for D23 events. Uh, they have free virtual events that you can participate and register for. And uh, D23 members do get some discounts, but I'm not exactly sure because that system has changed a little bit in the last few years. So I'm not exactly sure I'd have to direct you to the D23 website to really get a good sense of what that, what those extra perks are. Um, I'm just a big fan of uh, Disney. You know, my license plate has D23 in it. So <laughs> just a huge, huge fan. Um, anyway, so this was a limited edition Captain America pin set in this beautiful tin that I'm showing you here from Marvel. Beautiful tin. This is a gorgeous piece that I wanted to get for myself. Um, let me open it up and show you the pins inside. So this is a limited edition of 800 um, sets and so I was uh, lucky enough to nab one of these. They sold out pretty quickly. I think within a couple of days they were pretty much all gone. But here is the pin. Here are the pins. So you can see here you've got the first shield, uh, the golden age pin, and you've got silver age. There's cap in the middle. I really wanted to show you today because I love, love, love being a part of the D23 community. And this is just a, a demonstration of the kind of merchandise that you can get access to. So the other package I want to get into today that I'm kind of excited about is a series of pins that I got that are from Epcot and they're from a personal shopping service called Right Touch of Magic and I have her link down below to her Instagram site where you can go and request that she pick something up from you. So if there's something very specific to the parks or something that is limited edition or has some sort of limited release at, um, sense to it, you can actually ask her to go and pick this up for you. She goes into the parks, picks up the product and then will ship it to you and your address. I think she charges something like 15 percent as a pickup fee but um, she'll give you um, an estimate before you actually buy which is really cool so anyway love this service I've used her a couple times now and um, so I'm going to share this experience with you so that you can decide for yourself if there's a piece of merchandise that you really want to have your hands on and you're not getting to the parks anytime soon this will allow you to actually be able to get that product which is super super cool so it came in this little box and just as a thank you, she sort of sent me this um, thank you with the Right Touch of Magic card. And you can follow her on Instagram and on Facebook. And like I said, she's a phenomenal service. Highly recommend her. I've never been disappointed with the things I've bought from her so far. So uh, her service is awesome. All right, so let's open these up. Ah. And of course we have the magical Disney shopping bag, which is pretty typical. All right, let's do this. So if you're uh, a Disney fan, a Disney Parks fan in particular, and you've ever been Epcot, you are very familiar with the World Showcase at Epcot. There are a number of pavilions that are representative of the countries within those pavilions. Pretty cool place, really uh, a neat adventure to walk around the World Showcase. As a point of interest, it's 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 a huge walk it's a lot of exercise so you don't feel guilty eating along the way you can eat or drink your way through world showcase whatever your choice is uh, please do it responsibly and uh, it's a lot of fun 
So what I did is I asked my personal shopper to buy a series of pins for me that are representative of the Epcot showcase. And it's really, really cool because this was a specific set of pins that were put out that were meant to do just that, to represent the entire showcase. And there were two or three different versions for each country. So I picked the ones that I really liked and I wanted to share those with you today. So currently there are 11 uh, countries that are in the world showcase. There is some room for expansion according to um, Disney experts out there. There's some talk about Brazil being uh, added to the world showcase pavilions. Uh, that's been a rumor that's been circulating for many years now so it'll be very interesting to see what happens. But for now we have these 11 and so I'm going to start with assuming we go to Epcot and we start going towards our left to go around the world showcase we would be starting in the Mexican pavilion or in Mexico. Your visit to Mexico would not be complete without actually doing the ride with the three caballeros in it. So this is the reason why I picked this particular pin. So here is the pin for Mexico. I love this pin. These three caballeros, we have Jose, Panchito, and of course Donald Duck. So there's the pin for Mexico World Showcase. I love this pin because it's super colorful and it's representative of the ride that you find in that particular location. Now, there's talk about the ride being changed over to perhaps a Coco uh, themed IP, but for now, this is what we have. And so that's the reason why I picked this pin. And besides, if the ride changes, then I'll have a historical pin that represents what it used to be. Moving right along, we go to the next country, which is the world of Elsa. Now, I could have opted to go to the world of Elsa and got an Elsa Frozen related pin because I do believe they had a version of that available for this country, but I decided to go with Norway in a more Viking manner. So here's the pin. And there you are. There's the Norwegian pin that I decided to get. Now, I love this pin because you can see all of the, I was going to say Celtic nodding, but it's not. The Norwegian sort of flavor to this particular Viking with all of the different knots and the various um, sort of braided look to it. I absolutely adore this pin. And so I decided to go this, this direction instead of going frozen. All right, so now you've gone through the Norwegian pavilion, you've gone into the store, into the bakery, and you've gotten yourself a school bread to try. And if you don't know what school bread is in Norway, then I suggest that you follow AJ from Disney Food Blog, and I have her link down below as well to her YouTube channel, because she will tell you all about what school bread is and isn't and what people like or don't like about it. You either love it or you hate it. It's just sort of one of those things. Anyway, you finished your school bread. Now you're going to move on to the next pavilion, which happens to be China. So the Chinese pavilion is gorgeous. I don't know if you uh, have ever been there, but if you've not been there, it's a beautiful pavilion with lots of very elegant pieces of Chinese architecture and art. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I decided to go with something that represented a bit of the culture of China and some of the really fun activities that they do during Chinese New Year, which is bring out the dragon. So that's the reason why I picked this pin for the Chinese pavilion. And so you can see here we have Mickey Mouse controlling the ceremonial dragon and I love the colors of this pin. I love the decor of this pin. It's really representative for me at least of some of the aspects of the culture of China. Obviously Chinese culture is super broad and very complex. This is just one small piece of it but it's a really cool pin so I decided to go with that. Okay so you've gone to China and you've gone into the gift shop and maybe you bought yourself something really cool there and now you're deciding you know what I'm getting a bit thirsty for something. So I'm going to go and maybe even hungry. I'm going to go to the German pavilion. They must have some decent stuff there, right? So the Germany pavilion is extremely detailed. It has some really cool cultural components to it. They've got cuckoo clocks and they've got all sorts of different pieces of art. And anyway, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing pavilion. And I highly recommend you go and spend some time there. They have a really great community style a restaurant in there called the Biergarten and the Biergarten is a place where they serve traditional typically traditional German food so you get various sausages you get your sauerkrauts you get your potatoes you get your coleslaws all of the things that you would typically get uh, during an Oktoberfest festival in Germany so it's it's kind of fun they have a show in there during the sh during your meal there's a show that you can watch there is 
Um, everybody's wearing lederhosen, which, you know, it's kind of funny to me because it's not like German people walk around in lederhosen all day, but at Epcot they do. Um, anyway, it's really a fun place, very festive. And so that's the reason why I went with this pin. As you can see from this pin, this is part of the show. So this is uh, why I picked this one. Um, Cause you can see Goofy and his bandmates, Pluto and Donald in German attire playing some very uh, fun music. They have all sorts of horns of various kinds and xylophones and all sorts of really fun things. And of course they have Minnie and Mickey sort of dancing and enjoying the festivities at the German pavilion and dressed in their own German outfit. So I absolutely love this pin, which is why I went with this direction. The next pin is Italy. So Italy is where you have your pastas, your pizza, as far as food goes. And the, the Italian pavilion is also quite beautiful. Um, there are pillars and um, much of the architecture reminds you of sort of like old Italian kind of architecture. And then by the Epcot Lake, they also have like a boat and they've kind of made it look like Venice. It's a really cool experience. There's a, a gentleman who does soccer trick kind of shows and uh, anyway it's a really cool very again very festive place and the Italian pavilion has a number of shops for things like perfumes and of course food and wine uh, really really uh, a really neat and festive location so again I went with this pen because it reminded me a little bit of the Italian pavilion itself and there you are there's Minnie and Mickey having a very fancy dinner at a cafe somewhere having a little bit of a coffee it looks like or maybe tea but it's probably coffee anyway I really love it and it's got of course the Italian flag colors which I love then we get to the American pavilion that's the next one and it's a pretty big pavilion they have uh, the voices of liberty who sing in there which are amazing I absolutely love 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 their voices it's it's beautiful and they bring a lot of older sort of American theming type of songs to life and they have an awesome show in there uh, and uh, that sort of goes through the life and times of the country and, and how it grew as a country. So anyway, I really love this because, again, this is a Mickey Mouse version of a pin that reminded me of the American Adventure. And there you go. There he is playing his ceremonial drum, being the soldier that he is in the American Pavilion. I love the colors of these pins, by the way. I just love the fact that they're sort of almost pastel, but still really bright. So if we continue down World Showcase, the next country that we come across is Japan, which is really probably one of the most interesting pavilions in all of Epcot. There are bonsai trees and there are koi fish there and there are some really neat hidden Mickeys if you know where to find them in the ponds. They have some fantastic restaurants there. Honestly, if you get a chance to go into the Japanese pavilion and actually go shopping within the store there, I can't remember the name of the store. I'll put the link down below to that, but it is a pretty cool place. So um, what I really loved about this pin is to me, is it represented what I think the nature or the environment of Japan would be like. So here we go. And there you are. Beautiful blossomed trees with mini just sort of crossing this wonderful bridge over some water and that's the thing about this pavilion in Epcot is it's actually quite a bit of water. It's a very natural looking site. I, I love it and of course it has all of the traditional Japanese style buildings um, within the showcase which I really adore as well. So here you are. Here's Minnie Mouse. The next one is Morocco and Morocco is a super beautiful, very immersive showcase location. When you walk into Morocco and you go beyond the Epcot walls and you actually are in like the courtyards of Morocco, you actually feel like you're in maybe a sanitized version, but a nonetheless a version of Morocco. But this, this pin kind of represents to me some of that architecture and designs. So that's the reason why I went with this one. And there you are. There's Mickey Mouse in front of one of the de decorative walls with all of the different tiles. I love Morocco because it is so colorful. The food is flavorful. If you go there, it's it's sort of one of the locations in Morocco where you'll get some legitimate flavors in your foods. You know, the curries and the corianders and the spices and some of the peppers. And, you know, there's cinnamon and nutmeg and various different kinds of um, spices used in their cooking. So I really love food that is more Moroccan based. So beautiful pin. I love this. And the next one is France. Now, France is also an equally large pavilion and it now has the new Ratatouille ride which I believe is opening in the fall 
Super excited to try that out for fun. I know it's been in France for quite some time now, um, but now that it's a new addition to the Walt Disney World version um, in Epcot, I'm actually really excited to try this new ride. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but it essentially, I got this pin because one, it's in French, toi et moi is um, all about Minnie and Mickey's love for each other. And of course, it has the quintessential Parisian feel to it. I mean, you can't have a French pin without the Eiffel Tower in it. Like, let's be honest here, right? And it's all about love and it's toi et moi, Mickey Minnie. Again, loving the color palette of this pin. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, the next one is the United Kingdom. And what is quintessential about the United Kingdom? Well, there is a number of things. There's Big Ben, right? There's their beautiful flag, the Union Jack. There's the royal family. And then there's this. The fish and chips, of course. <laughs> I'm all about the food, apparently. So here is Meet My Friends Fish and Chips. And as you can see, there's a picture of a fish and Mr. French Fry from the United Kingdom. I love this pin because it looks a little different in style to the other pins. And of course, you've got the Union Jack behind them both. So um, yeah, I'm a big fan of this particular pin. It looks like um, a newspaper, which is what they're served in. It looks like a newspaper advertisement that you would uh, find in a magazine or something to go eat fish and chips at a particular location. So and last but definitely not least is my home country of Canada, which, um, I mean, it's awesome. Now, the Canadian Pavilion, does it represent Canada as a whole? Well, I mean, there are some totem poles, which are sort of First Nations from the West Coast kind of influences. We do have the Chateau Frontenac in there, which is from Quebec City. There is a show that, um, O Canada kind of show in there that you can watch as a 360 show. And it shows you a bit of what Canada is about in terms of our land. And apparently that's being rebooted. Um, and has been shut down during uh, COVID, my understanding is. It's a really cool place. It has a neat waterfall um, and it sells things that are typical to what people think Canadians are all about. So lots of maple syrup and, you know, beer and things like that. So anyway, but I love, love, love our, our, our pavilion. And I happen to like this pin because it just shows, I don't know, I just happen to like the look of this pin. So, and there you are, there's the Canadian pavilion. And of course you've got two paddles because you know, canoe and kayaking is well known here. Apparently we've got some lumberjack clothing on goofy and Mickey. And so I'm, I'm actually loving this pin. They didn't have a pin that had like a Canadian flag equivalent or what have you. This was, I thought this was subtle and I really enjoyed it. So that's the reason why I got it. So I really hope you enjoyed me sharing both the D23 pin set that I got today, but also a walk around world showcase through pins, which I mean, how much fun is that? And I loved getting these because again, it reminds me of how much I'm looking forward to going back to the parks once it's safe for us all to do so. And I know for us Canadians, we're getting closer and closer to being double vaccinated and sooner or later, we'll be able to cross the border without a lot of restrictions, which is great. So I'm super excited about going back there at some point in the next couple of years. Thanks again for joining. If you love this video or you liked what the content was, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because I will be sharing more. I have Mickey loot boxes. I've got three Mickey loot boxes coming that are very specific and have very specific themes to them, which is really great. And I have a couple of my fave kawaii's coming from Japan as well. And the one is, should be here very, very shortly. So subscribe because there'll be more content to come. Thanks again for watching. Plagoski Pins and Collectibles. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.